What's up dudes and what's up ladies? It's Brian here. In this video, we are going to discuss how to speed up your metabolism. We're going to talk about how you can increase your resting metabolic rate, ways to give your metabolism a boost, and the one thing you want to avoid doing. So, let's roll! So let's start with our resting metabolic rate. Resting metabolic rate is the rate at which our bodies are burning calories while we're sitting around or sleeping. I have a link in the little eye in the right hand corner of your screen to my video where you can calculate your metabolic rate. Now research suggests that there's only one way to improve our resting metabolic rate. Build muscle mass. In a day, muscle burns three times as many calories as fat. So for example, if we have a 120 pound woman with 30% muscle mass, she's going to burn more calories at rest than a 120 pound woman with 20% muscle mass. While there's only one way to change resting metabolic rate, there are two things we can do to burn more calories when we're not working out or doing activities. We'll call them metabolic boosters. The first thing is to increase the intensity of your workouts or whatever activity you're doing. Research has shown the higher the intensity, the greater the effect will be on short-term metabolic burn. In fact, high intensity strength training can have a recovery time of up to 48 hours, giving it the best boost of metabolism. However, once your body has fully recovered from the activity or training session, your metabolic rate will go back to its original resting rate. The second thing on the list of boosters is consuming whole foods. After we consume any meal, our bodies have to break the food down. This requires an increase in energy expenditure. Again, research has shown that consuming a meal with whole foods requires an even greater energy expenditure than a meal from highly processed foods and this can last up to six hours. Adding protein to the meal can give this boost an even greater effect. Now there are people in the fitness community that claim that things like consuming more water or spicy foods will increase your caloric burn. And they are correct. Your body will work to break down and utilize these items. However, the additional energy expenditure is very, very small and the duration is short-lived. One other note, caffeine, which is a stimulant, definitely increases energy expenditure. No doubt about it. In some people, this can last up to 24 hours. However, it has its disadvantages, such as increasing blood pressure, causing insomnia in some people, and it can be highly addictive. If you're going to consume caffeine, it's recommended to keep it under 400 milligrams per day, which is about 3 to 4 cups of coffee. One other thing that I must mention is the effect of low-calorie diets. Low-calorie diets have been shown to decrease resting metabolic rates. Our bodies are unbelievable organisms, and they will adapt to most situations rather quickly. So, when we provide our bodies with very little energy, food, it will slow down its energy expenditure. Also, low-calorie diets often do not provide your body with very many micronutrients or enough fiber. You should stay away from low-calorie diets. They just aren't healthy. Recommendations. So if you want to increase your resting metabolic rate or give a boost to your metabolism, you should increase the amount of activity you do, incorporate a strength training program into your weekly schedule and gradually increase its intensity level, and increase the amount of whole foods you consume while cutting back on the processed foods. Bottom line time. Sorry folks, there are no secret methods to boosting your metabolism. I wish there were, trust me on that. It's going to take some lifestyle changes. All right, then. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you feel that I have just removed a few minutes of your life that you can never get back, I apologize. You can exact some instant revenge by hitting that thumbs down. It's all good. Till next time, I'm out. See ya.